Today on the channel, we go retro with the Mattel Creations Retro 4-Pack with Doink the Clown, Tugboat, Lex Luger, and Greg the Hammer Valentine. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Mattel Creations Retro WWE Unboxing and Review. And today on the channel, we've got the famed orange card set with Greg the Hammer Valentine, Tugboat, Doink the Clown, and Lex Luger. But remember, for all your WWE wrestling figure needs that are not Mattel Creation exclusives, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. But the day has come. It's finally here as the Retro Card Orange Wave finally makes its appearance many, many years later after the original kind of, I guess you can't say announcement, but rumors, artwork, things like that we've seen over the years, of course. But the Orange Card, of course, was going to follow up uh, the green card and the green card set I didn't even know existed as a kid. It wasn't until many years later when this thing called the internet that came around that I saw the green cards for the first time as none of my stores in my area carried the green card at Hasbro figures and they probably wouldn't have carried the orange cards either pretty much by that point but it is very cool. A lot of guys, a lot of people have wanted over the years and we got some cool comparisons to do in this very video and of course this very video we're going to do like all the other ones here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it, we're going to see where it goes from there. And of course, in Mattel Creations fashion, which we've seen with these retro figures, they come in a nice little box like this. Very, very cool idea, protecting the figures, kind of, and we'll get to that in this review. Uh, but a very, very cool box. I love the orange coloring on this one because I said it is kind of the de facto orange card set here, so very, very interesting with that but there it is old doink greg lex and tugboat a more motley crew i've never seen could this be lex's army in the survivor series wouldn't that have been quite the team i don't know about that one but you got the big wwe logo classic one there now these did come in a mailer shipper box very super 7-esque which is very interesting and then uh, so you get them in that shipper box inside of a big box there so a lot of protection on these. Unfortunately, I have some damages to this set, and you guys know how it is. I buy two sets, one to keep mint on card, one to open up. Well, one set came damaged, one set came perfectly. Your mileage may vary. I would be pretty upset if, you know, I got a damaged uh, set if I was only ordering one. But luckily, I had two sets, so I got to pick which one I wanted to unbox, and this is the unboxer one. Is Unfortunately, I got a ding to the box here, so that had to happen somewhere because there's no way you put it in the shipper box inside of another box that a little ding like this is going to happen. So I would assume that happened in the warehouse. But you get the murder's row right there. Same thing, but a different way. WWE logo, UPC's warnings, and then, of course, the back. Very cool, very nostalgic, very black and white back there. Not a lot going on, but WWE logo, of course. So there's that. We're going to put that off to the side here. And then we're going to go one-on-one -on -one, or one-by-one -one through the packaging on these guys. And we're going to start it off with Greg the Hammer Valentine. We've got to... Of course, the retro rhythm and blues, Greg Valentine, a white whale for many collectors of the Hasbros back in the day. And I'll never forget as a little kid, I've told the story on the channel before. Of course, Toys R Us was promoting this one with the Honky Tonk Man. I was a huge Honky Tonk Man fan as a kid. Crazy to see him, I guess. It's crazy to a lot of people, but I absolutely loved Honky Tonk Man. And once again, I've talked about that on the channel. But I was so jazzed and so hyped up to get this version of Greg, I kept looking and I kept looking and never saw it. And of course, of course, you guys know my dad and I were in a lot of stores when I was a kid trying to find these things and never saw Greg. I was like, I just don't know. We just can't find him. We can't find him. There was no internet back then. Uh, and we had the same kind of instances with the Nasty Boys. For whatever reason, the Nasty Boys never hit my areas. I was in the Toys R Us's multiple times a week, KB Toys, Targets, all the time as a kid. Never came down the radar, came through our area for whatever reason. So I thought Nasty Boys, just like Greg Valentine. Well, you get the internet back in like 96 or whatever it is. Oh my gosh, there's this green card set and the Nasty Boys do exist. Wait, Greg Valentine never came out. There was a lot of answers back then. It really put Kyle's young mind at ease way back when. But Greg Valentine is one we wanted way back when. And I guess all these years later, we're getting it now. Now, we do know the wrestling trader, Cellos of the World, have a version of this coming out as well about uh, sometime in 2023, let's call it. So a little interesting times for this one. And I do have that one pre-ordered. We'll see how they compare when that day comes. But we're going to take a look at this one 
right now, but there's old Greg the Hammer, the Valentine. Looking good. Got the guitar with him, which is cool to match Honky Tonk Man. WWE logo, artwork there. A uh, little uh, play feature there. Real superstar action. He comes with that patented Hammer Slammer. Uh, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? And then, of course, on the back here, we get the black and white. We get the file card, UPCs, warnings, all that. Let's see what it says back here. Greg the Hammer Valentine. The Hammer joined the Honky Tonk Man to form the tag team. Rhythm and Blues. And I was all in. I felt like it rejuvenated Greg Valentine a little bit. I think they could have got a lot more out of that uh, when they broke up, things like that, but it wasn't in the cards. Pull back Valentine's arm, hit the slammer from the hammer. And of course, you got the cross saw on the back. Now, I talked about some damages I had. I got a nice deemed corner on this one. I do have a crack to the plastic on Greg the Hammer Valentine. This plastic isn't the tightest plastic ever, but yeah, you got a big old crack right across the bottom there. So very, very disappointed by that, of course, as you can imagine. So that is a, a little interesting. And I got a crease through the card in the middle here. So I'm not exactly sure how that happens. I guess it's a good thing I got this because, as you guys know, I'm unboxing this. So that does work. But let's get the old hammer out of the package here if I can. We'll see if I can get it. Oh, it's not coming off as clean as I wanted it to, but it's coming off. It's coming off. See you later. Goodbye. Let's get the old hammer out, the old hammer slammer. And there he is, retro. See you later. All right, let's break down old Greg Valentine, an interesting one. And we'll do some comparisons with this as well. We do get the famed guitar, and oh, I'm a little disappointed right off the bat that it is a breakaway guitar here. I've talked about it a lot lately. We need some of these guitars that don't break away. I get the gimmicky nature of it, but they just kind of crumble in your hands, and it's actually, you hate it. You hate sitting here and, oh, crumble. Put it back together, oh, crumbled. So I guess you could leave the little uh, rubber band around this, the clear rubber band to keep it together, and that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, but it is a little bit, we need multiple guitars. That's what we need from Mattel and hopefully one day. But this is a nice guitar. It feels very big, obviously, for a retro. It is some reuse, but it's a big, almost looks like a big, thick, hollow bo body guitar here. Uh, but very, very nice. Of course, it breaks away. We've seen that feature. breaks into two on the back if you want to bust it over somebody's head or something like that. But it is a fitting one for old Greg the Hammer the Valentine here. And now we get Greg Valentine looking very interesting. A lot of people always joked about his old retro, how it kind of looked like you're gym teacher uh, at the time your female gym teacher well this one kind of looks the same way with a bad dye job uh, quite the hair on the hammer very striking when he did go to black of course looks very interesting and then he's got those big elvis like sunglasses going on just very very funny but boy he does feel very very big to me he feels kind of like he's got some giantism going on uh, very interesting here, but the black hair is very, very striking on this one. You do get head articulation, but not a ton with that hair blocking kind of the side to side, but I feel like it is enough for a retro figure. Of course, it's got the patented clothesline, bend at the elbow, very cool one, one of the best Hasbro uh, styles of body, I would say, over the years, uh, one I enjoyed the best playing with. You do get rotation at the arm, so that's a little bit something different there, so how about that? You get a little arm rotation. Arm rotation here, of course, the arm's going to go all the way around, no bending at the elbow here. You do get waist articulation, of course, you can do the big gimmick, bam, there it is, hitting it back and forth. Now, we got to call out Mattel, the only ones actually doing uh, gimmicks to their figures here. We see the zombie sailors, the cellas, the figure collections, they don't have have the actions to the toys but tells the only one still giving us that so there is something to be said about that after all not really sure what the heck's going on with these knees it looks like it's got a bend at the knees but it does not really does break up the sculpt really does catch your eye i'm not a big fan of these knees on here i'm not exactly sure what's going on he does got his black tights going on got rhythm of blue rhythm and blues on the back there how about that rhythm and blues what a tag team they should have the tag team titles come on give them the tag titles just wasn't in the cards for them. He does have a gripping hand on the other hand, so he can hold the guitar, of course. Then he has the white boots. They almost look like ankle shoe boots, but uh, looking really good. And then, of course, you got the musical notes all over the shirt. Uh, jacket he is wearing. And then you got some that are colored in blue, but the majority are not colored in. Uh, but definitely looks like the hammer, but definitely feels a little big. He does got peg holes in his feet. Is he going to fit on a ringside stand? Well, what do you know? He fits on a ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. And, of course, some of you guys are familiar with my collection with some of my videos. I did have an old-school painted custom here of Greg the Hammer Valentine that I did come across. Uh, it kind of gets the point across a little bit, but not quite as nice as this new retro. Uh, but this is based off of Greg, of course. And then you got to go all the way back to Greg, the Greg the Hammer we got in the retros. A favorite of mine. Always enjoyed this Greg Valentine figure. He stood in with the Honky Tonk Man as a tag team for me many 
of times as a kid, uh, just using the power of the old imagination. But the honky on time through the Hasbro years here, you got the old school one, you got the new one, and you got a custom in between. How about that? After all these years, uh, Greg Valentine is finally here in the collection in the retro style from the Rhythm and Blues. So there's old Greg Valentine. Now we turn our attention to the next one. We head on over to old Tugboat. Tugboat, a very interesting one as well. He was going to be made, and of course we did get his Typhoon incarnation back in the day in the retro line, or I should say in the Hasbro line, but Typhoon. Typhoon, of course, part of the natural disasters with Earthquake. This is his solo run when he was a fan favorite as Tugboat, a guy that I remember as a little kid just being like, nah, Tugboat, come on, this, I'm not buying this, and I bought a lot as a kid. I really put the disbelief to the side a lot as a kid, but Tugboat, for me, I was just like, what is this guy? What is this guy? And funny story, my stepmom, her favorite wrestler was Tugboat. So whenever she saw, where's Tugboat? Is he going to be on? For whatever reason, she just took a liking to old Tugboat. Uh, it boggles my mind to this day. But there's old the Tugger right there looking good. Uh, looking like a uh, Navy guy that's getting really ready to uh, sweep up the old poop deck, I think is what he's going to do there. Uh, but very interesting with the hat and the, <laughs> the stripes and the white pants. Just a very, always a very interesting looking character, we can say that. WWE logo there, of course. What's it say here? What's his action? Real superstar action, Anchors Away. Oh, I love it. Anchors Away. We got the blurb at the bottom. You got the UPCs. You got the old cross cell going on. And we got the gimmicks on the back showing it how it is done. Six and up, folks. Make sure the six-year-olds are playing. The five-year-olds, keep them away. Uh, Tugboat helped rescue his hero, Hulk Hogan, from a heinous attack by Earthquake. And I always kind of felt that Tugboat was kind of... A modern times hillbilly gym. It's kind of the same story a little bit uh, there. Uh, you could say, you know, hillbilly was a friend of Hulkster. Tugboat was, you know, a friend of the Hulkster, his favorite wrestler, whatever you're going to call it. Uh, we had that going on, so it's very similar, but different at the same time. But goofy looking guys at the same time. Hillbilly, of course, and the Tugboat. See you later. Goodbye. And then we get Tugboat out of the package, and oh my gosh, how about Tugboat? I love uh, his, like, he's whistling Dixie or something. I don't know what he's doing. He looks like he's whistling, or he's getting to blow out some birthday candles. I'm not exactly sure, but very animated face. I do not mind that. He does have his white sailor cap on. It is not removable, but I'm okay with that. Stuff like that did not bother me in the retros. Talked or I keep saying retros, but the Hasbro's back in the day. It didn't bother me that Roddy Piper had his kilt on, DiBiase had his suit on, or the LOD had their shoulder pads on. For whatever reason, never bothered me once. This tugboat hat would never bother me once, just like the Undertaker, the Mountie, Skinner, etc. Never bothered me. Very good. He's got the long hair going on. Seems like his hair might be a little bit longer than I remember it, but it doesn't really bother me once again. Uh, but nice head sculpt. I really like the head sculpt on this one. Very interesting. He's got the uh, tugboat... Uh, Head butt, I guess is what you call it. Very similar to, I guess, Akeem's kind of body style where you could move back a little bit and kind of do something, but not quite the same. He is awfully jacked up, old Tugboat. He's got some big old pipes for arms here. It's almost like a Popeye if we're comparing comparing our favorite sailors out there. And he's got his white, <laughs> white pants on with the red stripe. Of course, the striped shirt as well. Boots, white shoes, whatever you're going to call it there. And he's got two fists of fury. He is not messing around. He's ready to team up with the Hulkster, whatever he's got to do. Uh, very interesting one, but I actually like this one. I think a lot of people didn't like the tugboat being included. Well, I shouldn't say that. They like tugboat being included here. I think tugboat was the weak link of the pack for a lot of people. I'm not sure that's going to be the case for me. I guess we'll see at the very end which one I like the best. We'll do a quick ranking at the end of this very video. But tugboat, not so bad. And of course, much like Greg the Hammer Valentine, I did get a tugboat custom back in the day based off of Typhoon. Very, very nice. I think this custom is a lot nicer than the Greg Valentine custom I have. But boy, he's a, a little smaller than this tugboat. This tugboat is a full-on tugboat. He's a full-on big old barge ship is what he is. But both of these are looking pretty good. Definitely looking different, of course. But old tugboat, finally in the collection after all these years, officially. Now we turn our attention to the next one. And oh, it's all about the tears of a clown as we move on to Doink the Clown. Of course, a Mattel Creations favorite is Doink the Clown. As we did get him with the new gen arena and ring, of course. We do remember that. But there is old Doink the Clown in the package. Very interesting. This would have been Doink's second Hasbro-style figure back in the day. Would have been a little head-scratcher to young Kyle. It would have been the one where, okay, here's the set. Which one do you want to get first? You're getting one on a Friday night. Doink would have been my last pick because I already have a Doink in my collection. But then I'm sure I would have eventually got him and I would have said, oh, we got the Doink tag team going on is what we would have done. 
But looking really good. Very cool on the front there. We got Real Superstar Action. He's clowning around. How about that? I love those uh, kind of quirky names for some of these. Of course, you got the blurb on the back of the cross cell. I got the UBCs, the warnings, all that. Let's see what it says about our old friend Doink the Clown. Doink's cruel pranks on fans and superstars were no laughing matter. Oh, that's so true. No laughing matter at all. Uh, pull back Doink makes the rivals go round. That's exactly what happens with old Doink. He's clowning around, folks. We're clowning around with the clown named Doink today. Uh, very interesting. It's funny, Greg Valentine's been the only one I've had damaged carding to, so that is a little strange. Make note of that. See you later. Goodbye. And now we got old Doink the Clown. First thing I realize out of the pack here is Doink does not have the real hair like we saw with the old school Hasbro back in the day. I'm sure that's a cost uh, function of that one there. Uh, but he does have a very, very big body, a torso we're kind of used to before. They clown around, of course, kind of the airplane spin, uh, like the young Texas Tornado or Tatanka back in the day. Uh, but the head seems a little bit small to the body to me. And I know these things are never perfect. We know how those go. Uh, that's one thing I do notice. He's also going to blow out some birthday candles or blow your house down or, or whistle Dixie as well as he's got kind of the whistling look to him. So maybe this could be the tag team of whistlers. Who knows? Who knows? But he's got the bright green hair. Can't mistake that. Of course, the white face with the paint on the blue and the red. Uh, looking like an evil Doink the Clown. Very cool. He's got the yellow, the blue, the orange. Really mixing up the colors. Looking really good. Two open hands on him. We talked about the articulation there as far as his play feature. He's got the bends at the elbows you can do. Uh, back and forth. This has a very, very big wingspan here. He looks like a young Bill Russell going on. Uh, of course, you do get knee pads on him. They are not removable, anything like that. They're not, they're sculpted in here. Black boots against the orange pants. It's got the blue tights going on. It is a Doink the Clown. I'm sure he fits on a ringside stand as well. Forgot these guys all fit on those. So there you go. There's old Doink. And of course, we got the old school Doink. Similar but different. We got a clowns. Bring in the clowns. The tears of a clown. They are here today, so we got Doink side by side. How about that? After all these years, getting another Doink out there. So Doink go over by Greg. And now we finish it up. We finish it up with our old friend Lex Luger. He's back in the line, much like Doink the Clown. Of course, we got the narcissist Lex Luger. Now we get the all of American Lex Luger, the one that is, of course, going to slam Yokozuna on the USS Intrepid. A lot of kids probably reenacted that if they had the USS flag uh, as a kid. Who knows? But uh, we got Lex Luger here. And I said Doink would have been the last one. Luger probably would have been the last one, especially if he was looking like this. As a Doink, I could make a tag team of Doinks, things like that. Luger, not tons different than his narcissist figure, but we'll break it down. We'll take a look at it. You got Luger there. It looks like the uh, artwork there doesn't quite match the time period of Lex Luger. I could be wrong on that. WWE logo, of course, the figure. What's it say? The Patriot Press. Oh, he's going to press some patriotism right there. Uh, you got the blurb, of course, the UPC, the cross-sell, the action features, all that stuff we're used to here. It says, Lex Luger won the Yokozuna Body Slam Challenge aboard the USS Intrepid. I don't know if you were like me as a kid. I thought for sure the Bushwhackers were going to get it done. They had both Bushwhackers there, Luke and Butch. I said, there's no doubt in New Zealand power. They're going to slam him. Didn't work out. Didn't work out for the old Bushwhackers. We all we all wanted it to. Uh, how, how times would have been different if that would have happened? If the Bushwhackers would have just slammed Yokozuna right off the bat? Well, party's over, guys. It's over. The Bushwhackers got it done. Would have been something. There it is. Luger up high over the top. See you later. And now we got the old Lex out. Oh, my gosh. Luger's looking crazy here. He always looks a little bit like an elf to me. Like, he needs a stocking on, a stocking hat type thing going on with a little, like, ball at the end. He could just be one of Santa's elves. He always has that feeling to me. But he does have the Ultimate Warrior John Cena retro style kind of body here. Isn't bad. I mean, the body, you can do the torture rack. You can do a press slam. You can easily do a body slam. So that does work. You could really mix him up with whatever kind of things you want to do with Lex Luger, especially for the time period. He's got the All-American garb going on, the red, white, and blue, the stars, the white. Uh, boots going there. Uh, looking really good. He's got the wristbands. Uh, All-American Lex Luger is what this is. So if you can do Patriotic Wrestler Shelf, man, this Luger is going to fit on there for sure right away. He's got big old eyes going on. He's got a little bit of side eye going as well. So he's like looking to the side, I guess. I don't know what's going on with that. He's just got a mullet you can set your watch to. Good skin tone here for Lex Luger. That does work for me for sure. He's got that big waist, you know, that kind of side hustle waist thing that we saw with uh, Cena and Warrior. Uh, it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting one. I would have liked to see a different style body for him, but of course they're trying to keep it a little bit of an homage to the past Hasbro, as we do know. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? It's a million dollar question, really. Oh uh, yeah, what do you know? He fits as well, and of course you have to have Lex Luger 
right here to go side by side. So you get the Narcissus version, you get the All-American version. Uh, not so bad there. And then, of course, I forgot to bring out Honky Tonk Man next to Greg Valentine. Finally, the team is back together. They're going to win the tag titles tonight in my figure fed. I just got them immediately getting the main event push. Going to be tag team champions tonight. When I play with my Hasbros and Retros, I will get those all out. And I will have a big, big battle. Maybe it'll be a Royal Rumble. We're close to the Rumble, so I think this will be one of the undercard tag team events. They're going to take on the LOD. It's going to be a surprise victory. I'll film it all for YouTube, or probably not at all. There you go. But how about it? How about this retro set here? What are our thoughts? Real quick thoughts for me. You know who's going to be number one for me? It's probably a crazy decision, but Tugboat. This Tugboat looks really good. I like the head sculpt on him. I like the big burly body on him. Uh, it just looks really, really good. So I do like that one first. Then I'm going to go Greg Valentine. A little bit out of proportion to me, but still very fitting. We needed Greg Valentine here. Makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to go Greg Valentine there. And then I'm going to go Doink because everybody loves face paint. And I'll go Luger because he looks too much like an elf here. And he's a little bit plain Jane, as you know. Uh, but not bad. I think this is a set that needed to happen for Mattel Creations. We needed the orange card set. Makes a lot of sense at the end of the day. We'll see what the future holds. We do know Jerry the King Lawler is coming. Who's going to be his wave mates? We also know Ringside Collectible is going to have the NWO pack. Stay tuned for that. I have to think in February sometime that's going up for pre-order or maybe even shipping. We'll see what happens with that. But it sounds like the retro boom is still going on. Of course, you got the figure collections, the Hastel toys, the Rush collectibles, Zombie Sailor toys, third-party companies. There's a lot of retro madness in 2023. It's going to be interesting who remains at the end of 2024 and how many retro figures we actually get in 2023. So stay tuned for all of that kind of stuff here on the channel as we'll break it down, unbox it, and discuss it like we always do. So there it is, the orange card set. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. It always helps the channel to give it the old thumbs up. Subscribe to this very YouTube channel. Hit the old notification bell. Don't forget about the Patreon for early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, Q&As, you name it. A ton going on over on the old Patreon channel. And don't forget about ProWrestlingTees.com, another way you can support the channel. And follow and hit me up on social media, SirPaul64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the Orange Card series that never was, that is now, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.